Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is your full month of December 2020 love and general situationship reading. This is the full month of December for you. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. This is for the sign of Taurus. One more shuffle. Before I start, Taurus, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button in the bell if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, you know what to do. All of the details is down the description box below. Okay? Um, so this is for the month of December 2020. There would be love and general situationship reading for you, Taurus. Okay? This is for Taurus. What can I get for Taurus, please? Full month of December 2020. What is the love message and what is the general situationship tarot reading energy for Taurus? Okay, let's start your reading. You've got a Queen of Swords in upright position and um, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Coins. There seems to be a situation. It's a recurring situation related to a female female females all right um this female or females okay um they make your life complicated there is a group of people one or two for some of you one or two or more than that but there is this one complicated person for the month of december i'm really getting a vibe of a female She's very strict. She looks at what, whatever you do. It's like a micromanaging person. For some of you, <clears throat> for some of you, this person, it could be a mother, you know. She just cares. Sometimes we tend to misinterpret how we care with people we love the most. We become overprotective. So this person is overprotective of you. That is why they're very micromanaging you. There is, it's complicated because you're already an adult. <laughs> For some of you, this is a new boss. For some of you, this is a female figure, a friend. For some of you, if it's not a female person, it is a person who genuinely they care about your work they care about you they like you so they micromanage you it's not that they don't trust you okay because the four of cups in reverse you know they're happy doing this they're happy supporting you queen of wands they want you to stay if this is an office or work uh, if this is a place if this is something of a location um they really want you to stay because look at them they're strict they're strict but they're you know they're full of they have a very colorful personality but when it comes to you or the linkage or the subject or the situation you're involved with this person they they have a high standard it is a feeling that um you know for example your mom is a doctor so you're expected to be a doctor it's something like that that this person cares about you and they see themselves to you. There's a reflection of that. So it could be a mother, to be honest. But the storyline I'm getting in here is that you might not understand their behavior because it's a choker. Um, but this could lead to you being, discipl being disciplined by something. Because it is a, it's a reminder. You know, it is... Um, it's like a carrot stick system where, okay, if you want some carrot, you need to get a stick. What is that? <laughs> What's that English? <laughs> but you know that carrot stick system? Um, if you don't behave, I'll give you a stick. Okay, that's a better story. <laughs> if you don't behave, I'll give you a stick. You know, a whack. <laughs> if you behave, I'll give you a carrot. So this is how they are. Of course, you know, you don't, you're quite millennial or modern, you know. This person is quite old-ish or 
their methodology, their ways. Their, their, it's quite um, antiquated. <laughs> um, you see, there's a misinterpretation or miscommunication. But I honestly feel like you'll get along. Yeah, give it time, you'll get along. It could be a mother-in-law, a sister-in-law. It is someone you, you know, you will get along. They will loosen up their grip towards you. If this was a boss, eventually they will let you go. It is more of a, what's that? What, what's that thing you do for a fraternity? It's a, um, what do you call that? What's that English term? Like when you join uh, a group or a sorority, you need to go through an induction. <laughs> so this person is like that. To be honest with you, it is quite a choker. It is annoying that to be micromanaged, to be looked after by someone that you you can actually look after yourself. But they'll eventually, it, for some it comes with care, but they'll eventually give up this energy. And you'll eventually like each other, okay? In fact, you might invite them for Christmas. You might go for Christmas shopping for some of you. There's a there's a harmony. Because that you, you started off intense, but there's, there's going to be harmony in this. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of female figures, but it could also be male to male. But whatever your gender, it's the same gender who you struggle and eventually you'll become good friends or you'll be acquainted and be comfortable and you know you'll be you'll be okay you'll be fine it's a process um so that's the first reading there's this significant character for the month of december that would be playing big in your month that i'm seeing here okay so the second reading is you've got the nine of wands in upright position the full card in reverse okay this is a love interest. I think the last communication was around September, October for some of you or Halloween. And then for some of you, they also message you November this month. But then this person, you have a lot of skeleton in the closet. Okay, you've got a lot of history with this person. It hasn't healed. So December month, I see them reaching out again to you but they won't take a risk see that they will message you but playing safe they're not playing hard to get but they're just playing it safe um it is a bit of romantic and it is a bit of um friendship so it's kind of stalemate you could feel that they're still awkward uh it means that they haven't gotten over the past um, energy, past, you know, behind. They haven't left the past behind. But you'll feel a genuine care from this person. So I'll, I see them coming back, reaching out to you. It's a very, very, it's very curious. It's very interested. It is shy. It's like an introvert love situation. They don't want to make you... Because you've got the uh, two of wands in here. Four of, pen four of pentacles and the two of wands. Okay? Four of pentacles. They're holding back. They're very discreet. Um, it's like calculated risk. They don't want to disappoint you. And they don't want to put your hope so high. And disappointed you at the same time. So the way this person act, react message you call you text you it's two-faced two-faced in the sense that look at them they look back you know they look back at how you are in the past and then the other face is looking forward and holding it looks like a sword um so it, it's more of in the past you were great you were okay but something happened it changed the dynamic at the present you know going to december energy they're still pretty cold towards you but they still like you. They still admire you. In fact, this person has not moved on with you. They haven't forgotten the passion. You know, you see this leaves in here in the wand. You still have growth. You know, you still have potential. It's just that, you know, this person is quite scared to really take a risk. They're, I feel you, you're quite annoyed with this person because they're on and off, on and off. 
um, you wish that, you know, if you don't like me, if you don't love me, you just disappear. But they seem to be on and off. There is a lot of reluctant energy coming from your person. It's like a midpoint where, because you had a lot of, you know, skeleton in the closet. Should I give it a try? I will call. I will feel the energy. If it's changed, if it's better, I'll go ahead. But if there is an inkling of from the past carried over to the now, to December month, they would hold back, you know. So it is still, I'd say, what do you call this? Um, What's the word I'm hearing? Determining factor. It's really 50-50. 50-50. But they will be around. In fact, they will only understand what is the next step towards you if you keep on talking. Like if you also participate or interact with them they will really because they're not getting a lot of signal from you like when this person calls your text you they don't get a lot of um for some of you guys like you don't they don't read you they don't read a romantic energy from you so they pull um they pull out because or they step back because they don't want to get rejected and then they come back again checking if you know testing the water and if it doesn't work they come back again i don't think they are dating to be honest with you you made a um you made a huge impact in their life and you're some you're someone that never forgotten you always linger in their mind look at that this is you this is them at night you know they're hiding look at the look at the bird they're hiding towards something but you still linger they try to avoid thinking about you, but your thought still lingers. So, I really wish that you and this person would be in alignment to finally determine what's next. It is unfinished business, both sides, okay? The last reading is you've got the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel a very general and love romantic energy in here. Uh, Seven of Cups, you are going to be very busy. You will have choices. Um, you will, the month of December, could be Christmas party, friends Christmas party, family Christmas party. And at the same time, a lover from the past would come back. So you're quite over, overwhelmed because some of the friends or family that you'll be meeting, attending the parties, they're quite long distance or it need, it's needing you to overnight and then you've got another lover you've got a lover here who wants to see you as well or overnight or stay or they would like to video chat while you cook I think it's gonna be busy season for you both in general and in love and in party season for some of you that you wouldn't have enough sleep strength card in reverse seven of cups you're going to be very busy, you know, strength card in reverse. Yeah, you're, you're, you're sleep deprived. You have, it's like the, the body, sorry, the spirit is strong, but the body is weak. You know, it's, you, you want, Taurus, you like a bull, right? Your resiliency, but with December month, there's so many people, person, places, that it's gonna deter you it's gonna slow you down because you're slight slight <laughs> sleep deprived because the chariot card in reverse okay you need to deal with people party situation one at a time really plan your calendar um and then the lover's card in reverse look this one if you do not take advantage of an opportunity from someone in the past you would miss this lover soulmate again your soulmate, whoever is coming back to you, right? Because you could be playing hard to get or you're so busy. But whoever is coming back to you, reaching out, calling from the past is a soulmate. Now, this soulmate, they really want a full attention of you. But you might, maybe you're genuinely busy. Or you might, you know, like what I read on the second um, part of the reading is that you might be holding back because you've got a lot of, you know, you're unsure. You're not fully, you're not fully sure about them. So, I mean, I feel an energy that there's a love, 
a past person that will reach out. You might not be able to accommodate this because, you know, most especially mid-month of December up until the end of December. I see you so many busy, so many busy. You're, you're so overwhelmed with attention. And then you're losing strength, sleep deprived. And then the chariot card is in reverse. So um, it's it's really is, this is the last card, the lover's card in reverse, okay? It is in reverse, but I don't know why I put it in upright. Um, yeah, okay, thank you, spirit. So please make this work. Whoever this love person is, there's something that you need to find out. It's worth giving it a chance. It's worth reviewing, hearing, or giving it a go. Um, they might come back like, like next year, next year of around June. And when you hear of them, they might be engaged or they might be in a relationship. So I really, I really get a strong message in here that take this opportunity because this might be the last time that they will come back or attempt this two of wands, four of pentacles and nine of wands. They're keen. They're keen. They're really keen. But you're so busy for some of you. And you've got some hangover with them. Plus, on top of what you feel towards this person, you think like, is it worth trying? And I've got so many things to, you know, to accommodate in my life. So, they don't require a lot of attention. You know, within a week, you will determine the sincerity of this person. Um, give. I'm really, really hearing the word, give them time. They have something to deliver. They have something to say. All right? So, this is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Thank you for your support. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Whatever it is. I'll still see you in the weekly. But because this is, you know, you know full month of December. Um, I'm so in advance. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I so like your support. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.